So there's a comment on my one airboat video wondering how I mounted the propeller to the engine. So what I did here is I've got actually a sprocket. I think it's a number 40 sprocket. I don't remember the diameter. Um, and then I've got 5 16 bolts that actually fit in the teeth pretty nice. All right, and then I've got focus, focus camera, whoa. It's kind of hard to see, but in on the hub of the sprocket, I've got a piece of metal. I had this all uh, water jet or laser cut or something. It's got, it's like a big washer, but it has four holes in it that match up with the notches in the sprocket. And then in front of that, on the other side, right here, I have another piece that just has the same four holes, but it's a smaller hole in the center. So that one would be exactly the same as this one here. It has a 5 16th hole in the center, and then it has this center bolt that actually screws into the shaft on the motor. And then these four bolts go through this plate, through this plate, through this plate, and also through the sprocket, and that's what keeps the propeller from spinning. And then obviously the sprocket is keyed to the shaft on the engine. Now I've just got this giant spacer here. Big washer for that center bolt. So yeah, hopefully that answers the questions about that. Aside from that, the rest of this airboat we've got the propeller guard is made out of some half inch electrical conduit that we bent into big hoops. And then we've got big old rudders we made out of some aluminum flashing. Cut the ends out of wood. They pivot on copper pipe. Oh, uh, what else? Up here we've got the steering. So you've got this handle here that pulls on this little pipe. There's that bracket there, which is in pretty rough shape. Here we got the throttle. We've got a key switch and a kill switch. A little um, hour meter tachometer. And then this whole thing will come right off of the canoe just kind of goes on with these little guys and some brackets back here which you can't see because it's dark so let me get a light there we go get some L brackets back here that kind of screw to the back of the boat and that's about it so yeah that's how it's put together